Hey guys, it's Erica, and today I will be doing my May wrap-up. So I didn't read a lot of books this month at all. I only read three, but I had finals, and I was super busy, so that was a thing. But now finals are over, and they're done, so I plan to read a lot more because, yes, I'm so excited that it's summer, and I'm so happy. So let's get started with the very small amount of books I read. The first book I read was Graceling by Christian Kishore, and I really enjoyed this book. I actually really loved the story and the world building. The only thing I really didn't like about this book was the romance. Now, I didn't hate the romance, but I felt that the ending part was sort of unnecessary and I just I think I would have preferred them as just really good friends but yeah besides that I really enjoyed it and I gave it four out of five stars and you should all really check it out because it's a pretty good book the next book I read was Pirate Latitudes by Michael Crichton I have to be honest to say that I was thoroughly disappointed in this book I wish I could say I loved it so bad because pirate books are my absolute favorite, but uh, it's not the case with this book. I hear that Michael Crichton's writing is really good and I intend to check out his other works because I hear that this is his worst book and that everything else is better. So that's a thing right there. Pretty much the writing was just not good to me. I don't think there was a lot of character building or anything like that. I did like the story and the adventure that they went on and everything about that writing pretty much. The writing really just bugged me in general and I'm just hoping that his other work is much better. That's all I really have to say. I gave it three out of five stars. The last book I read this month was The Diviners by Libra Bray. This book was just incredible. It was like a big old roller coaster of awesomeness and I loved it. It's a really huge book and surprisingly it only took me like two, three days to finish it. This book takes place in the 1920s and it was really cool just being in that era, being able to read about it. It was really fun and I really enjoyed it. There was a lot of murder, mystery, gore. There was just a lot of supernatural elements in the 1920s and I just thought that was really fun and overall I really enjoyed the story. I did enjoy most of the characters, although to be honest the main character, uh, she kind of annoyed me a little bit, but I think that was the point you know she was very um, bad in the beginning but she grew you know later on in the book and that's really good although she still had the same attitude but she grew as a person by the end of the book and you know that's all that matters. I ended up giving this book four out of five stars. I would have given it five stars but like I said uh, the character she just bugged the crap out of me. Yeah I really recommend this book though it's such a fun read it's exciting and I think you all will love this it's a must read you guys should really check it out and plus it's a gorgeous book it will look amazing on your bookshelves yes okay so those were all the books I read this month I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are and I will see you guys in my next video bye